Welcome to the old Lumens channel again. Uh, I've had an ongoing project with a mag light <clears throat> of installing an SST90 reflector. Uh, this is a deep reflector and it's touted as being for SST90, but anyways, it's a pretty large one. Um, it's a little bit big for a mag light. It doesn't really fit in all that well. But I want to show how I do a modification to be able to at least use this. It, it's going to look a little different, uh, but it's it's my way of being able to put a big reflector in a mag light. So the first thing I need to do is I, I need to make sure that when all is said and done, it's it's tight, uh, it holds together well, it won't fall apart. So I've taken the the mag light uh, bezel, okay. And I flattened down the bezel, and then I've cut down on the inside of the bezel, um, the little lip inside of there, all right, so that I have a, a just a fairly thin ring left. And I've taken a couple photographic adapters. Um, one is a 49 to 46 millimeter adapter. One is a 46 to 58 millimeter adapter. Now, the 49 to 46, 49 slides inside. Okay, it just fits right inside. The reason I used the 49 was because it would fit inside of the bezel. Then the 46 is the ID threads. Okay, and this has 46 threads on it as well. So I'm going to take these two and screw them together. Okay, that's sandwiching that mag light bezel. All right, so now the bezel, when I tighten it all down, and I won't do it until you know, until I, I want to use, I will use some uh, thread locker on it. But now I've, I've made that bezel to where this adapter is not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay in place good. When that's all tightened down, it's just like one piece. All right. Then I happen to uh, get a, a lens hood. This is a telephoto lens hood. It's 62 millimeter threads. Okay. Remember, this is a 46 to 58 millimeter adapter. So now I have to go to 62. So now I have a 58 to 62. There are tons of these adapter rings. Uh, some adapt up, some adapt down. You have to learn the difference between male and female threads and you have to learn that, that the first number is always the, the, the one that has the male threads and the second always has the female. Okay, uh, Basically this goes to the lens and this goes to the filter. Sometimes you have a, a bigger size on the one that goes to the lens and a smaller size on a filter. It doesn't matter. Step up, step down. That's what they are, is step up and step down adapters. So now I take this, this 58 to 62 and I screw it on. Okay. I take the lens hood, which is 62 millimeters, and screw it on. All right. So now I have the lens hood in place, and I've, I've effectively made a, a much larger and taller head, okay, on the, the mag light. Um, now I want to see if I can get a reflector in there. Well, in order to do that, I need to use some more photographic adapters. Now, the thread size here on the top of the hood is 67 millimeter. And I'm going to go for a 67 to 72. Uh, the, uh, the the uh, reflector is like 63 or 65, but because you're, you know, when you're at 67 millimeters, you still have more metal in there. I mean, you, you know, you have, you have back metal back and behind it. So the reflector is going to sit in here but it's going to be fairly loose and sloppy, but it's not going to fall through. All right. 
Then I'm going to take another adapter because I want to use a, a, a photographic filter for a lens. So I'm going to take another adapter and I'm going to screw in there, possibly. You know, it's, it's difficult to do this uh, with a camera running and sitting behind the camera. Alright, so I've screwed that one in place. Okay. I'm still sloppy. I'm not, not doing much with this with this reflector as far as holding it. But the key is gonna be the lens. Okay, this is a filter. This is this is a lens filter. It's a 67 millimeter. So then I'm going to take and, and put that in there. And I'm going to let that sort of guide the the reflector into place. Okay. And when all is said and done, when everything is over with here, my reflector is now tight. All right. Now the reflector is tight. Now I have a lens for the flashlight. You can see that my reflector is way up inside. Okay. It's just about even with the top of the of the the maglite original head. The nice thing about that is that it will allow me to make a big heat sink in here. Okay, I'll be able to use a very large heat sink and also have that heat sink go down through the tube as well. Okay, to have a real, because if we're using an SST90, this is going to be a massive heat sink, as much heat sink as I can get. The, the head will screw back on, okay, and I now have a, a very uh, different, very unique <laughs> mag light head. Uh, it may look sort of funky, but like I say, it's going to house this SST90 reflector. And now I will be finishing uh, the uh, building of uh, an SST90 mag light. Okay. I just thought I'd, I'd give you an idea of, of a way to be able to come up with parts off the shelf we just the only work that I really had to do was to uh, file down on the top of that uh, bezel to smooth it down and, and make it thin enough to put two rings together. Okay, the rest of it is all off the shelf stuff that uh, is not super expensive. Uh, the lens filter was a couple dollars. Each of these adapters was like a, a buck and a half a piece. The lens hood was the most expensive. It was about six bucks. Um, you know, I probably got maybe 15 bucks or 20 bucks, somewhere between that, 15 and 20 all together, uh, to, to make this happen. You know. So, it's, uh, like I say, that's, that's about it. That's about all I, uh, I got to tell you. I probably told you too much already. Thanks for watching.